Hey, welcome to Around the Campus Podcast. Today we have Catherine, which is uh, a film student here at the school and uh, actually just got done this past weekend shooting her film. So welcome, Catherine. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing very well. All right. Yeah. Is this more stressful than the shoot itself? Or, I uh, honestly am more nervous, yes. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Well, that's fine. I'm nervous too. I don't like being on the air myself. But anyway, we, uh, we move on. All right. So... Let's see. Uh, you started the film school uh, about what? Uh, maybe ten weeks ago, twelve yeah, weeks like ago. End of July. So end yeah. of July. So somewhere in there. And um, what made you think about coming to a school like this? I know you were in uh, college. I don't want to name names, um, <laughs> but uh, uh, was that just not working out for you? Was it not what you wanted? Did you want something more? You know what? What made you decide on a school like this? So I am the type of person that could go so many routes in my life and I'm like thinking about so many different things and I've always liked filming and like editing just kind of for fun yeah um so when I went to college originally I was there for I think psych yeah um and then I ended up changing to communications and then I ended up transferring to a different school and um I got denied from their field program like three times oh really <laughs> yeah all right yeah and it, it was like really small and like slim chances whatever but um yeah but i just wanted to be in that and i didn't want to graduate with a degree in communications and like try to figure it out after four years of college after right. like knowing nothing about it really because i would only be taking like maybe a couple film classes if that to fulfill those um major requirements Requirement. yeah a... yep um and then so actually my dad um was like talking to me one day about and i think we were just talking about what i want to do and we were talking about filming and whatever and he ended up seeing like my old mayor who i think like did some work here oh yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. um and he does I, like, I know who that is he yeah. actually came here twice yeah, yeah okay yeah so he came in 19 like uh 72 and then he came back when he retired because he wants to start a podcast yeah yeah. Uh, yeah and he did like voice acting and stuff and right. he was just like he mentioned the school and he to my dad and was just like she should just try it and like actually do something right instead of like sitting there waiting around not even knowing if i would like it um so yeah so then i ended up calling him and talking to him for a little bit about it and he um was very helpful and like I ended up coming here for the tour, and it yep. was, like, awesome to see. And you were the one that gave me the tour, right. actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you showed me a bunch of pictures of, like, the student films that they were doing, the previous class was doing. Right. Um, it was just really cool to see. And I like that this school brings you through all of the steps. So you write it yourself. You cast it yourself. You do everything yourself. The whole vision is yours. And that's something that you don't really get support with in school right or like at least the schools that i was going to because i wasn't going to like an art school right um so i thought that that was neat and like very different very hands-on and i like to learn that way um and i was like let's just do it because one it's not like years of my life right and then i'll actually know if this is something that i would like to go into or not Right. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. And um, so you, you went through the program and you talk about time and that it doesn't take years and everything. I mean, this is 16 weeks. Yeah. Could you imagine? I mean, as far as 16 weeks go, <laughs> did you imagine you were going to learn as much as you did? or? I mean, definitely not. I It's crazy because I definitely had expectations and I knew it was going to be crazy because all the teachers were like, oh, we have this like roller coaster ride mm -hmm. and we're going down the hill. Um but you really do, and it's fast. Yeah. Um, even though I was, like, waiting, it's still so much prep. It's honestly, like, the most, the hardest part about it is, like, the prep work. Right. At least for me. Because I will, like, push that stuff off and push it off and push it <laughs> off. And then I'm like, okay, I have to do it. Um, and I was, like, so anxious about that. And, like, especially with, like, the shot lists, I yeah. think, of just getting those together. That was, like the most frustrating part even though i know it's like a guide and you yeah. can change it i didn't even end up using mine like, oh really yeah it was like all in my head at that point because i've spent so much time like but everybody else used it 
no, no i literally i literally <laughs> was just like let's do this and then <laughs> and i um we were like going to but honestly i don't know it was just easier to communicate it in my head right than like looking at it and i felt like it was just easier for me to do that. maybe not everyone else but <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so it, it's just it's neat so let's go back to the uh, the beginning. You started and uh, you had Michael Chasen, and he was your script writing instructor. Yes. How did you enjoy him, and what did, what did you kind of learn during that process? Oh, it was fast. Um, I remember like the first week we had to like come up with our topic, or I yeah. think like the first or second week, um, and our our little what's it called tagline? Like, yeah, yep. yeah, log line. Yes, yeah, log that. Line. Um, and I was like, shoot, I don't know what I'm going to be doing at all. Um, and I think just coming up with the idea was probably like the hardest for me because I didn't want to, I don't know, I, I forget what the, my other ideas were, but I think I just went with this one because I could pull a lot more from my own life and it was easier to write about. Right. Um, and then writing it was interesting because I've obviously never written a screenplay before or anything like that. So I had no idea what I was doing. Um, so originally I wrote it and it was like so much dialogue, like so much. Um, and Michael was like, no, no, no. <laughs> um, and so I just ended up like, you really just rewrite and rewrite and rewrite. And I was rewriting like last week. Yeah. So um it's crazy because people are like, oh, you rewrite until like the day you shoot. And it's so true. Right. Um, I just feel like even now, like I feel like I could go revise it. Um, mm -hmm. Even like when I was shooting, like after there was like one scene and I shot like two different angles of it already. And then I was like, darn, I wish that I could change the dialogue right now. Yeah. But it would have taken like an extra whole, I don't know, it would have taken so long just for like one little lot line of dialogue right. extra. So, um, but it was really fun and I liked to write and I like enjoyed that process a lot more than I thought that I would have because well, I was like, cool. I can't write that. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> I've never written more than like eight pages. Did, did he do a, a good job getting the story out of you? And the, Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. He's really like... What is this? He's he's good at be having the characters being very realistic, I guess. Because mm -hmm. he's like, I had dialogue for like teenagers, and he's like, okay, well, would a teenager really say that? And I'm like, probably not. Right. <laughs> probably not. They'd probably be like, uh, more, more dramatic, more like careless, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and definitely, I think what helped the most for me was writing like backstory for my characters yeah and i didn't write it for all of my characters but i could with the characters that i wrote it for i felt like i knew that character way more even though it doesn't show on screen at all right. but it's like it does in your head you knew <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah um i think that that like is definitely something that's really important if i were to do it again i'd probably have i would take more time with the background of each character yeah um to make it like better all right yeah and uh so now you're 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 uh going through the screenwriting portion and then you also at the same time you kind of get introduced to the camera the lighting mm -hmm. uh sound and all that other kind of stuff how did you like that process of playing with the actual gear i love the camera it's so fun yeah um and when we were shooting actually we ended up doing I think like my shutter was off in one of the scenes. Oh, really? Yeah, and I'm nervous about it, and I don't know if it was off or not. Well, yeah, all right. Uh, we could talk about that <laughs> offline, but I, I don't think your shutter was off. You might have had the shutter adjusted to a different setting, probably, which shouldn't do too too much for okay. you. Is it when you went outside? Yeah, and then came back inside. And came back yeah, inside. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, anyway, you'll see how that uh, <laughs> that comes out. But basically, the shutter is just going to give give you some dreaminess if there's a lot of movement oh, okay, okay. Uh, or not. You know, yeah, so okay. you should be fine okay. as long as the picture and the monitor looked all right. Yeah. You know, good. so your ISO and <laughs> aperture and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So all right, cool. So um, you enjoyed. Now, my other question is. When you played with the camera those first couple of days, we did the scene dissection with uh, Ted Lasso oh, yeah. uh, and that kind of stuff, you know, which was fun. How much more did you learn when you were actually shooting your film 
and setting up everything and using it time after time versus what you did in class? I mean, during class, I learned a lot, um, especially with that scene, um, because it kind of made me, especially because we edited that. Yeah. Um, it kind of made me see more as we were shooting from an editor's perspective, um, which is like interesting because I was like, oh, that's not going to look good. Like, this isn't going to look good, whatever. Um, and I could just like kind of make that call on the spot thinking about the editing wise. Um, but then, yeah, so on the shoot, I think I learned like the most, probably how one time consuming it is. It is like to set up every single shot. It's crazy. Right. Um, like even watching television or like a movie now, I think I see one scene. There's like so many different angles and I'm like, that probably took like all day, right. which is crazy. Um, it's very time consuming, but also, yeah, you could definitely do a lot and you, there's so much to like go over. It's overwhelming a little bit on, on set because you have to make sure like the lighting's good and um i think lighting was it was hard it wasn't hard to do lighting but a lot of my like for the sh there was like one shot where it was like half outside yeah so doing that lighting and kind of um figuring out how to make it not as bright outside was a little difficult um but i definitely learned a lot i think that i would if I go on like another set, I think that I would like to do lighting, honestly, mm -hmm. because I feel like that's the one that I least know about. Least or knowledgeable guess, about. Yeah. And that's one of the nice things about the school is that like Victoria and Juliana did, is, this is actually the first shoot. I think it's the first shoot. Is it the first shoot? I think it's one of the first shoots that we actually had the Stratford campus and Farmington campuses uh, come together and uh, work together. And uh, I thought that was very interesting. Um, you know, so, but the neat thing about the school is you can come back and work on other films of other classes that are going to be coming down the line. Right. And, you, you know, what's interesting about that and you'll get it when you go work on Dominic's film or Cecil's film too. Uh, when you start working on those films, you're going to, it's amazing how much you just keep learning mm -hmm. each time you mm -hmm. do it, yeah, you know, and definitely. that's, that's uh, one of the cool things. So, <clears throat> okay. So you did screenwriting, you, you're working with the equipment, you're setting up the lighting, the cameras and whatnot. And now uh, you go through the editing phases and then you come to casting and mm -hmm. you know putting together your actors bios you put together your advertisements your advertising on backstage in connecticut casting call and people are coming in to read parts of your script how emotional was that it was crazy yeah <laughs> um it was yeah definitely emotional i also when they read it sometimes you're like Ew, that line sounds disgusting. Right. <laughs> I need to change that. It's horrific. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, it was crazy. Um, all the people that came in were great. And I was like lucky enough to have found two of my main actresses through like the strap. Stanford. Yeah, campus. Stratford campus. Yeah. Or Stratford. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, but it, it was definitely, like, an emotional experience, and I remember, I, I was definitely, like, nervous to to be there, especially with Bob, because he was like, oh, see if they could take direction and stuff like that, and it's, yeah. like, hard to put yourself in that position of, like, power, almost, um, and kind of, like, try to tell someone what to do when they're when they're auditioning. Right. Um, and they're, like, not even casted. So I think that was, like, difficult to for me to, like... I was just nervous. I was really nervous. Right. Um, but then after that, I think, like, the, wor the worst part was, like, scheduling everyone. Right. That was, like, the hardest part. Like, I, hate, I hated that. It was like, oh, I never want to schedule anyone ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, trying to get everybody's, you know, uh, time commitments and everything yeah. else. And it's all volunteer yeah, based. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, you got to be respectful oh, at yeah. the same time. Yeah, definitely. Um, so you get it all scheduled. You get it all set up. And uh, you had a couple of weeks to wait before the uh, the actual shoot and stuff like that. Uh, were you ever sever second guessing yourself or wondering oh, yeah. if this was, I was ever like, going to? I was like, should I quit? <laughs> <laughs> like, should I quit right now? <laughs> 
like, I don't have to do this. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely second guessing myself. Oh my gosh, I had so much self doubt. Um, I was like, I don't think I could do this. This is like way too much. Um, but I was like fortunate enough to have a great crew and great actors. Um, so it all went really smoothly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely a lot of self doubt. Now um, you had Phil there on the location with you and stuff like that. How did uh, he work with you? Um, oh, he was great. Yeah, he was great. Um, yeah, I, literally everyone was so amazing. Um, there were definitely like there were t- <laughs> times where like there was like a lot of ideas flowing, which like I appreciated. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was just like a very like it was a very supportive crew, and everyone was like, "Oh, like if," because they we all talked about it before, and they were like, "Oh, like you're gonna have so many ideas, but if you ever blanking and you want some, like we can we can give you we can throw some out there for you," um, and they did, and it like we ended up shooting stuff I think differently too because I was like oh I like that like let's do it this way and like some of my actors too like they had ideas for like blocking the scenes and like stuff like that so it was really cool to collaborate with everyone um but yeah yeah so how do you think you personally grew during that experience knowing that you went into it second guessing Mm -hmm. yourself did you leave it second guessing yourself or did you leave it thinking wow I did it yeah I definitely left it like wow I just like did that and I was like I could do that again and again and again I right. loved it it was like exhausting it's an exhausting process oh yeah it is um and I don't think that I was like prepared for the amount of tiredness I felt right. at the end of the day I was like wow <laughs> and it's like I'm not even the one acting like I'm just um behind the scenes of it right. all but it's crazy because I'm just it, you're just like well going. it's your film though yeah I mean yeah. that's yeah stress and in itself definitely um but yeah, it was it was crazy. Well, you know, and a lot of the feedback was uh, uh, great uh, for your shoot. Um, Phil uh, said great things about you, and he said one of the biggest things that he noticed, and I don't know if you noticed this or not, but during your shoot, you you switched the way you took command of things, and. Um, I did. Huh? I didn't notice. You didn't notice? <laughs> no. But you became stronger and you became more, um, I don't want to say professional, but more like uh, direct in your approach mm-hmm. of getting stuff done. And it was almost as if like you started to realize that you could do it. Yeah. And then your, you, your whole demeanor changed oh, and wow. you just shot through it. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't even know that that happens yeah <laughs> but it's i mean one of the pieces of feedback we got back yeah you know, that's so. awesome that's great to hear um i'm glad that it came across that way i mean i definitely like it felt so natural yeah it did um and i don't know why i was like unexpected because i was so nervous the whole week of the shoot like before um the weekend and then Friday night, I just had like this overwhelming sense of like peace. Yeah. And I was just like, everything is fine. It's all going to be fine. Yeah. It's going to be smooth and whatever. And I, I don't really feel that way about a lot of things right. <laughs> normally. But um, I did. And it was like weird. And then even the next night, too. And I was just, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Passed out. Literally. Done. Um, um, but yeah. So, and you shot at uh, different houses, your your mom and your dad uh, were there um, uh, watching you. Did they give you any feedback or were they surprised <laughs> by what was going on? Um, they weren't surprised because they knew kind of what was going on and uh, they both saw like the beginning and end of it. So my dad had like left throughout the day or whatever. And he, I think my dad was just really like happy to see me doing something that I like to do and like yeah. happy doing it. Um, and same with my mom. Like they just were both very happy for me and proud. Oh, well, very good. <laughs> yeah. So somebody's walking down the school, uh, street and they ask you like you did with the uh, councilman there in uh, Litchfield, you know, um, hey, I heard you went to CSB Media Art Center. You took their film school. What would you say to an individual thinking about a school like this versus maybe a school like uh, you were at um, as far as film? Well, I would say 100% come here. 100%, yeah. Because you get to experience everything. You get to realize what parts of the um, 
process, I guess, you really like and what you don't like. So yeah. you can kind of narrow in your niche, yeah. I guess. Um, but yeah, I think that that's like the best way to do it, especially for someone who is like kind of weary about it. Yeah. Um, 100% come here <laughs> and just and do it and face your fears and actually make something. I'm, I'm like always scared to finish something, finish my projects or make something and, and put it out there. Um, but I think this is like a really good way of getting out of my comfort zone. And I am so happy that I did. <laughs> uh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I thank you uh, for coming in. And uh, so as far as you narrowing your niche or uh, whatever that word is, <laughs> what do you want to do? Um, well, I loved, what, what, I loved directing. That yeah. was so much fun. I had a blast. Um, and obviously like a great crew too. But I think I think that that would be really fun. I think writing would be really fun too. Yeah. Um, honestly, like I thought that I would really like casting more than I did. But And I did like it. I liked seeing everyone. But it is like it's time consuming. It's... It's a lot, especially if you're doing like a feature film. I can't even imagine being like casting that. I cannot right. imagine casting that. Um, I don't know if I would. <laughs> I don't know if I would want to be do that. But um, yeah, I think writing, directing is fun, and I think that I'm gonna really enjoy the editing process too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you did a great job on the editing process for Ted Lasso, Thanks. so uh, I think you'll that will carry over into your film. And I like your uh, the way you. Um, uh, cut up your different shots and things like that. So, you know, you, you seem to have that inner type of knowledge yeah. that you need to do the editing. Well, let's hope so. So, all right. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Any other last things or? No, I don't no, think we're so. All thank you so much for having me. All right. Well, hey, thank you for uh, being a part of Around the Campus Podcast. I love it.